Funky D, welcome back, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, the news says uh, Nam the Kano celebrates as Supreme Court frees Ojo Zokalo. If Ojo Zokalo like, make it still continue with the one Nigeria. Make it still continue with the Northerners. This one don't teach him lesson. Okay? If you like, make it remain in one Nigeria. If you like, make it still continue to the do within in the door. But then they tell us now, see, none the can don't celebrate Ojo Zokalo's Supreme Court uh, uh, verdict. So, um, before we go into this news, make I use this opportunity to thank those of you who don't subscribe before. And for those who never subscribe, I say, make one subscribe, or make one share, and make one not forget to press that person so that anytime when we upload on our first year, our videos, on our first see our videos. Record that the APES court sitting in Abuja on Friday anonymously overturned the conviction of Senator Ojo Zokalo in the 7.65 billion fraud. Speaking over the veteran, Kano said, There are other victims of this loopsided prosecution. They are insaccarating and must be released until all solemn money by the cabal is accounted for starting from the nearly 14 billion asura clinic they looted from 2015 to date he noted that all reasonable Igbo people are happy over the release of ojo zokalo he also issued ultimatum to the federal government and called for the immediate release of the joshua diary Jolie Yan and James Bala. The statement read God Almighty Chukokika Biama takes all the glory, but I must also say that the moderately reasonable Alamajiri Josh that quenched the original conviction should be commended for serving Abakiari and the rest of the core not from damaging scrutiny and global shame by IPOB hashtag those that ignore our warning do so at their peril we have set Ojo Zokalo free today and while all reasonable Igbo people are happy I am also looking forward to hearing the same about Olisa Mota very soon. There are other victims of this loopsided prosecution. They are insaccarated and must be released until all stolen money by the cabas is accounted for, starting from the nearly 14 billion Asura clinic they looted from 2015 to date i am calling for an end to selective prosecution and the immediate release of the following people joshua diary jolly yaman james bala la until such a time that nigeria is serious about prosecuting all looters nobody should be in prison you cannot be jailing Christians from the Middle Belt and South in the name of fighting corruption. Why Fulani, Arch, Luthers are jostling for who will be the next chief of staff. And in effect, the fatal president such injustice is what we are against, not your fight against corruption. Now, soon now the cannot talk. Everybody is happy about uh, this guy called uh, Ojo Zokalona. But like I said before, the EFCCC then will continue to prosecute the man. That's all. Again, they say scores fear dead, 300 injured, 50 missing as Anambra community clash. Now, this thing they happen uh, within the uh, area of uh, the southeast Anambara community they see people they fight serious fight 300 people injured 50 missing 
okay, and the two Anambara communities, now then they fight, this fight, they a serious fight, where 300 people injured and 50 missing, hmm? Now serious fight, and all this kind of fight have to stop. But this is not the reason why the Northerners then they get um, head of honor because that is why that they use everybody. Because you see, peace not day. All of us, so if we don't know peace before or unity before, now something when we will start to the practice to be able to win this war against or this fight against the Fulani Kabas or the Fulani Caliphates. Because if we not unite, now big problem. If we not unite, then go continue to the come. They no go stop. So the only thing when we bring about peace in that country or in that uh, South uh, Biafran land, na unity. Now the unity you now go make the Northerners stop. If they don't see, see we not unite, they go continue. Look now, two villages they fight themselves. Hmm? Not be said, and they then they pursue the full any people, then they fight themselves, they kill themselves according to the news. Where 300 people wound, 50 missing. Now, what be that now? At least 50 people were reportedly missing in Anambra state community of uh, Oma and uh, Umumbo in uh, Aya Malum local government area after a communal crisis between both communities also about 300 persons from both communities many farmers were also said to have been injured during the crisis it was not clear what prompted the latest incident or true it was gathered that the two communities had over the years been involved in a protected land dispute that had claimed several lives in the past. Okay, now, make I put a little things here. Because sometimes, then they tell us, see, which we are not sure yet. We are not sure yet. This one, just, this news just they come. Then go tell us in our communities, they fight sometimes because of land dispute. But after some time, we go begin here seeing our herdsmen people. Time when they talk, say, then they lock down for pandemic. People they come out like this, they fight in group. <laughs> say, wonders shall never end. Hmm? So, after they don't write like this, maybe at the end of the day, after they, uh, they don't go investigate, they'll come tell us, say, oh, instead of them to tell us in our full any people, they'll come tell us in our community fights. I wonder. Hmm? Uh, because things like that don't happen many uh, times. When we see, when you don't see the news this way, say uh, communities to communities they fight each other. At the end of the day, you find out say now nah, the herdsmen people, they then kill all these people, wound all these farmers. But we never know yet. All right. So I just want to put that straight. The Speaker of Anambra State House of Assembly, Mr. Uchi Okafo who represent the constituency in the state uh, legislature was accompanied by heavy armed military and mobile policemen to quell the clash. An unconfirmed number of people were said to have been arrested even as those at large were being fished out by security operatives. The two communities are among the major food producing area of Anambra state where rice and other grain are produced in large quantity the latest was the high point of a protected land dispute between the two communities which started during the last dry season According to an eyewitness, a session of one of the community allegedly breached the gentleman agreement reached between the two traditional rulers of the community sometimes last year, thus igniting the latest clash. So we will stop here for this news as well. So when I don't hear what we talk here, communities they don't they fight, they don't they keep people. Don't they kid yourself? All right, so um, that's it. That's it. Now, 
Una no say get uh, last week or so, even this week we uh, we talk about this uh, American money when they bring come when about your loot go keep America before when American people come bring come uh, Nigeria three hundred and eleven uh, million dollars. Some news they tell us they say three hundred and twelve million. Some they say three hundred and eleven. Some they say three hundred and ten million dollars. So we don't tell them. I say for Nigerian people because government not did there or make we put them for FG. Can't allow American people to tell them how to use the money. Now shame fourteen. That's to show you see government not there in place where. America go they in, instruct, they give Nigerian people instruction on how to use the looting money. It don't make any sense. It don't sound good at all. Again, that shows you that there is something wrong. That shows you that something is fishy in the helm of helm of power. So we don't tell us in an insult before. Now somebody like uh, Femi Falana don't come talk and see men. For American people to they tell Nigerian people how to use the money, their own money, when a batch of loot come off from Nigeria. See, it did very, very insulting. And that's how it is. And again, they just come as, you know, when these people, they hear about money, so all their ears stand like never before. Now, they don't tell us, see, they won't use the money for some road, they won't use the money for that uh, on the uh, second Niger bridge. That is second Niger bridge. But this second Niger bridge, they don't tell us say then they will do I'm saying see they don't some they, some time ago they don't tell us say they don't conclude them. In uh, twenty nineteen they don't tell us see, why they do their campaign, they don't tell us see then go con why come be saying now they want to use this uh, three hundred million uh, three hundred and eleven million uh, dollars begin using to the build on the chart highway. When they don't tell us see they don't use and promise uh, voters. In 29, even in 2015, they don't tell us the way back, they don't build the thing, they don't complete them. Every day, these people they can't lie to us. Hmm? The second Niger Bridge. Why can't be see every government when come in place, then they use and they chop money, then they use and they turn Nigerian people lives. Now, APC people don't start again. So make we go take a look how uh, Falana take claim, see, then they insult Nigerian people. Sound insultive or insulting. Hmm? I found it insulting that the U.S. government wants to interfere in how Nigeria allocate Abacha loot. Femi Falana, human rights activist and a senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falana has shared his thoughts on how the U.S. government plan to monitor how Nigeria will allocate the money looted by Abacha. You that is to show you see Nigeria is totally corrupt. US no see Nigeria corrupt. US no see even they don't already loot the money. As we talk, they don't really loot the money already. All this one where they tell you say, oh, they won't use that for Niger Bridge, they won't use that for this road, they won't use that for that road. All now are you pure? Are you even the same money? The man again, when we say now him full about and loot the money, when want his own 70% share. Oh no, they hear that word. See, FG and APC people say they will give the man 70% share out of this money. Because it don't not be today they begin to talk about this money. When America come tell them, see, if we not sign, see, we won't use this money, do better thing. We know we'll give another money. But we know, see, uh, uh, somebody, Attorney General of Nigeria, ladies and gentlemen, Abu Bakar Malami, he don't claim, see, they won't use and do Niger Bridge. The ones that do this, American people know come investigate on that one. We know, say nobody go investigate on that. We know, say that mouth all of them they take the yam. The money is gone already. Hmm? So, the federal government has stated that the fund will be channeled into completion of the second Niger Bridge, the Lagos Ibadan and Abuja Kaduna Kano Expressway. This was the alleged agreement between both government before the funds were released. According to him, the funds were stolen from the Federation account and ought to be returned to the same account because it belongs to the three ties of government. Mr. Femi Falana insisted that the U.S. government has no right to make such an agreement 
um, you're supposed to blame the Nigerian government first. A incompetent Nigerian government. Now them, Femi Falana have to first of all blame before blaming America. Because if Nigerian people, I mean Nigerian government, if they're not did the win where then the US government no go come to tell them what to do or how to manage their own money. So first to blame APC government before blaming American government. Because people when they cause this thing, now Nigerian government. Everybody don't know, say, that they incompetent. Even you, when be Falana, you know, say, that they incompetent. You know, say, now them be the people, when be the problem of that country. So, first of all, blame them. Because they never tell Nigerian people the truth. Even as they speak, ladies and gentlemen, I say the money, they don't reloot the money already. They don't share the money long time. They already talk about that. Mr. Ferry Fanon insisted that the U.S. government has no right to make such an agreement and, if, and he found it insulting that the U.S. government would want to instruct the Nigerian government on what to do, what to do with the repatriated fund. That is why I say you have to blame your government. Blame them. Because if they do better, America will come to interfere. Because America knows everything about Nigeria is fraud. They know say the government there they go still loot the money. So you have to blame APC government first before blaming America. America not do any bad thing there. They not do any bad thing. Furthermore, he stated that if the federal government goes ahead and uses the money for the project, which are not backed by any law, then it means the FG is flouting the constitution because they cannot spend money without appropriation. So, ladies and gentlemen, I saw the matabi. If you get anything in one year regarding this one again, in the canoe, don't come a con hill or just a carlo. Hill people when we see them build or just a carlo con request, see the most to hmm, release everybody when they hold unjustly because a lot of northerners hmm, when we corrupt public officers. Then they did, then they walk about like never before. Even that only say mortar. Even though see all of them loot money. Hmm? So when you they judge people from the south eastern part of the country, you go they still they hold and they judge people when come from the northern part of the country. Likewise, people when come from the south southern part of the country. And I think when none the canon means see, may they release all of them first. And even the fourteen billion, hmm? when they uh, uh, fourteen billion when they loot from the Asuro care. Uh, Clinic made them bring and come come out. Now somebody like Abba Kari and I share them to loot that money. We don't know whether I only can carry the money or whether he still share the money. Give Maman Daura that one I confirm because he must reach Maman Daura the capo. Eh? He must reach the capo hand. And again, look at the issue of this money now. Look at the clash in Onitsha, Anambra State. So all these things have to stop so that we bring back Nigeria, eh? or so that peace will come back. To that country, like I said before, without being united, eh, all the whole fight, where the fight will be in vain. So our people have to be very, very much united so that we can win this fight, where the fight mm, to liberate ourselves from the zoo. One love, everybody, and see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe to Funky D worldwide. And bye.